what is up CG family welcome back holy cow it is bright outside welcome back to another episode of car gang why do I keep turning towards the Sun I don't know today we are going to be ceramic coating my car pretty excited the reason we're gonna be ceramic coating it is because the wrap scratches really easily and we just need that extra layer of protection ceramic coat is like wax but to like a whole nother level it's basically the equivalent to PPF which is paint protection film but it's in a liquid form that kind of turns into a solid over the paint. Guys, when I tell you I just washed the car and by the time I could dry it, a lot of the water had already froze to the car. That's how cold it is. It's 19 degrees out right now. Nonetheless, we got the car dry. Let's get back home and get ceramic coating. So we got the car in the garage. It's pretty clean. It's as good as it's gonna get, especially given how cold it is. So this is my first time ceramic coating a vehicle, so don't expect everything to be perfect. Uh, but one of the most important parts about ceramic coating is prepping the vehicle, as is painting a vehicle, wrapping a vehicle, whatever it is. Prepping is one of the most important parts. Obviously with a wrap, all I have to do is clean it, uh, wash it, but when you have paint such as the BMW's paint, if we wanted to ceramic coat the BMW, we would have to wash it, and then we would have to clay bar it, and then we would have to prep the panels with alcohol probably. Not sure exactly, but you gotta do a lot of work if you have paint to prep it and get it super clean, um, and then you're ready to ceramic coat. So it's pretty cold, I'm gonna close the garage, and I'm gonna turn on the heater, and hopefully that'll warm it up a little bit, and hopefully the engine's heat will keep the garage warm. I'm not gonna leave the car on because I'm not trying to die, but um, yeah, let's turn the car off before I do. So before we start, I'm gonna go over the wrap and look for any like imperfections such as that or water droplets such as these and wipe it down one last time really good because basically what ceramic coat is is you're putting a layer of glass over your car basically. All right, the vehicle is ready to go. We prepped it one last time and now for the good stuff. This is what I'm gonna be using, this product right here. Got it off of Amazon, it's not really like expensive. Most of like really good ceramic coat is like $70 or more. And if you wanna have it done, it's gonna be like, some people charge thousands of dollars. But this is just like $40 off of Amazon. Some people in the comments or in the reviews are saying it's like aircraft sealant. So not that it's really a bad thing. Obviously it'll still kind of have that same effect, but it says, um, oxidation and corrosion resistant, uh, scratch and wear resistant, improves body shine, hydrophobic effect, 36 month protection and high temperature resistant. So um, let's do it, I'm excited. It says plus 25% color, plus 20% strength, new formula. Obviously they're trying to like advertise their product and make it look really good, but hopefully it works well. We'll see how it does. So nonetheless, ooh, look at the cars, look how shiny they look. That's sweet. This car, did you guys see that? How did I just do that? Okay, the BMW has like really bad swirl marks. So if you were to ceramic coat the BMW, obviously you would clean it, clay bar it, but then you can see how bad those swirl marks are, especially like over here. You would have to polish the car's clear coat before you ceramic coat it. So you gotta get a dual action polisher, get some solution like we have over there and put it on there and kind of correct the paint, then you ceramic coat it. Because if you put ceramic coat over those scratches, they're gonna be there and you're not gonna be able to get them out for a long time. So um, here's the sponge that it comes with and then the actual product itself. And let's set that aside. And then here are some instructions. So here's the instructions on exactly what to do. And then here's a microfiber that it comes with for you to wipe it down afterwards. And then the mini microfibers to actually apply it with. Let's, uh, let's read the instructions because I'm not trying to mess anything up. So it also comes with like rubber gloves to use. I'd probably put those on, but my hands will freeze if I do that. So I'm gonna keep these on. Um, and here's a little mini microfiber. So this mini microfiber is important because ultimately what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this sponge and you're gonna wrap this over it and then you're gonna apply the drops onto the actual microfiber. First step, obviously take this out, shake it really well. Take out your sponge. So 
So then you want to literally just lay it on there like that. And now you have your surface, all right? Apply some of the clear on there, like a few drops. And then you want to move in horizontal and vertical patterns. You don't want to do circles. Okay, so next, you want to go here, put just a few. So I applied about four drops onto this sponge and you want to come to the car and you want to, I already did this section right here, but you want to do about two by two and you want to go in vertical then horizontal motions just like that. And once you let it sit, you kind of keep an eye on like the corners and the edges that you did and you can kind of see it start to fade. Once it starts to fade, you want to buff it out in circular motion with the towel that they gave you. So after you're done buffing the car out with the microfiber that they gave you, uh, make sure you throw it out because the silica dioxide will harden and dry up on the microfiber. And then if you go and you use it again, you'll scratch your paint. So uh, just be conscientious of that. All right, so I'm about halfway done with the car, a little over halfway. I did basically the whole front except for the front. So not the whole front. But my nose is running like Niagara Falls. And uh, yeah, it's a very similar concept to putting on wax. Like you just put it on and you take it off, right? Wax on, wax off. But um, yeah, it's not very time consuming. So it's out of a lot of the customizations and things that I've done in my car, this is probably the least time consuming. So it only takes maybe an hour and a half ish. So yeah, that's a mid midway update for you guys. Okay guys, so we finally finished the entire car. Uh, make sure that you guys get a clean, a new microfiber cloth and go over the car and look for any imperfections and try and rub them in. Um, and then one more thing is make sure that you guys can let the car sit inside in a garage for at least 12 to 24 hours to let the uh, solution cure onto the paint or onto the wrap because you don't want any elements like water droplets dripping on the car and then that will become part of the ceramic coat and you'll see a permanent water droplet for at least a couple months. So uh, make sure you guys get a garage space or somewhere that you can park it. But let's pull the car out and see how it turned out. So guys, here is the final product. Not really final, I always have more to do to the car. You guys can obviously see that the wrap is coming off of the side skirt. I went to the painter today, he told me that he will paint this and then we can then rewrap it. But let's see, I mean, it's not like a night and day difference. It's not like it needed it. The only reason I did the ceramic coat was to prevent it from getting scratched because this wrap scratches really easily. So. It's not like a night and day difference. It seems like it has a more blue haze to it though. Like there's less of that yellow. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's placebo. But nonetheless, the wrap looks better than it ever has. And I did a good job. And I also did the roof and the mirrors and the taillights. So I'm very happy with uh, how it turned out. It looks pretty sweet. And I just can't wait to get the side skirts painted and rewrapped and also put the summer tires on because once those summer tires are on with the tire letters the car is going to look complete and beautiful that'll probably be in a week or two so uh we're going to be heading out to arizona me and christina in about three weeks and we're going to be there for a few months and that's going to be a really just a great experience and there's going to be a lot of cool content that we're going to bring to you guys from az uh, so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for our coming videos no clue what the next video is going to be but Make sure you guys stay tuned. Peace.